Hello, brothers and sisters. Um, just another video update on my health. Um, I've uh, gotten a lot of tests, but ultimately all of them are inconclusive. They haven't shown anything wrong with me. Uh, so I've switched my primary care doctor and he's already started on a whole slew of new tests. So hopefully he's, he's far more hopeful about figuring out what's at the bottom of this. Um, so uh, we're still praying for that, of course. Um, also, I wanted to update everyone that um, my plan is to go back to uh, in-class faith formation for uh, the year 24-25. Um, obviously, my health in, in unknown future, I, I'm not going to be able to, to, you know, and if I don't improve, you know, teach catechesis to the parent, to your parents. And so um, I just think at this time it, it's more prudent. Obviously, I prefer it done the way we've been doing the last few years, but you know that about me. Um, I just strongly encourage you parents to continue your own catechesis as well. It's so important if you really want your children to grow up Catholic uh, and, and follow Christ in his church. Um, you need to be always doing so yourself and, and seeking to grow in your faith and your relationship with our Lord and his church. Um, so that being the case, um, I'm really hoping that uh, you would pray about uh, considering teaching catechesis. So I'm going to need a minimum of six uh, catechists. Uh, to teach classes. Um, I should say we are going to need a minimum of six catechists to teach classes, and I would like 10 um, assistants to help with those catechists. Again, that would be very good. Um, uh, so please pray and, and discern that those of you who have taught in the past. Uh, obviously, you know, you're, you're already prepared for it, but uh, for any of you who may consider doing that, and if you're not sure exactly the time requirement and commitment, um, please just call the office and talk with the ladies there, and they can you know, Diane, of course, can give you uh, instruction and direction in that area. Um, also, just, you know, some reminders. Uh, uh, so we're going to, in a sense, go go to a three-year confirmation program. We've been doing uh, seventh and eighth grade with sixth as prep. So we're just going to include sixth in it. So sixth, seventh, and eighth grade for confirmation prep. Uh, if I remember correctly, those two grades, three grades will meet on Wednesday nights. And the rest, the plan is to have them meet Sundays between the masses. Um uh, the, uh, you know, th there'll be more information about this coming out, but um, I'm really hoping to get uh, my catechists um, lined up by the end of this month, May, uh, so that uh, uh, we can order all the materials that we're going to be needing. Um, and uh, so please, again, prayerfully consider that over the next week or two, uh, and then just call the office and, and let uh, Diane or any other ladies there uh, know. Um, uh, so I think I think that's about it. There's obviously other issues in regards to catechesis that we talk about every year, but I'll, I'll deal with that in another video. Um, yeah, so keep me in your prayers. Obviously, I know you do, and you're always in mine. Uh, I love you all, and let me give you a blessing. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Lord bless you. May he turn his face toward you. May he give you his peace. He who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.